What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Finally made it up to Cayuga, you guys. Been here for two days, and all I have to say right now is I am blown away at this fishery. So as soon as I got out there the very first day, caught several smallmouth over five pounds, a couple big largemouth. Everywhere I looked, it's like a giant aquarium. You're seeing these five, six, six and a half, maybe seven pound largemouth everywhere. You guys, it's crazy. So MLF was just here. They put the hammer down on some giant smallmouth. I think a lot of people are gonna be keyed in on that, but honestly, with the water temps, the smallmouth are almost done. I'm betting it's gonna be more of a largemouth deal for us. And from what I know about this lake, which is on a lot, I've never been here, but from doing a little bit of research, it looks like the way north end of the lake is where the kayak tournaments are always won and dominated. So I'm probably gonna stay away from there. I don't like to really join the crowds. I'm gonna try to uh, make something happen down south. And what I'm seeing, <laughs> there's winning fish down there for sure. So I'm gonna take you guys with me the next couple days on the water. We're gonna break it down together. I'm gonna show you what I kind of got going on. I'm gonna put together a few more patterns and we are gonna go out there and practice for this tournament and have a great week. So I've got three more days left to practice to figure out what I wanna do. I can't wait to share with you guys what we got going on and share with you this fantastic fishery. So stay tuned for tomorrow morning when we're gonna get out. On the What's up everybody? I got in the water a little bit late today, but I wanted to take you guys with me on my practice day today as we kind of piece things together. I fished way down south yesterday, caught some huge smallmouth, but my gut is telling me that, you know, the water temps are 70 degrees. You guys, I think, I think the smallmouth are about done being up shallow on beds and that sucks because I was really hoping this would be a big smallmouth tournament. Uh, went up north the other day, caught, caught some largemouth. So kind of fishing the mid lake area today to see what we can kind of come up with. G and I are carpooling together. So he's going one direction, I'm going the other. We don't like, we do not like finding the same fish. That's super frustrating for us. So yeah, we're gonna see, uh, we can see what we figure out today. They were all way bigger. That's a seven pound smallmouth. I'm like, I'm positive. Oh, he's killing me, you guys. Those fish just aren't locked, but those are two giant fish. Or they're just not locked. All right, like, let's, this is the best looking smallmouth spawning area I've seen in my three days here by far. I just can't get them to eat. We're going up and check these docks up here. Uh, I'm not going to give up on these fish yet because they're, I mean, these fish are, are huge, 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 huge. I just don't know. Might need, they might need just a little bit to get on to, to lock on. I'm, I'm not sure. I went to carp under the if those are bass, they're freaking huge. Oh my God, they're bass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's a giant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I thought this was carp. This this is probably this is a six pounder all day. But those are freaking bass. Oh my gosh, they, was, they, they look like huge carp. That's a freaking stud. That's a 20 incher all day. Look how big that thing is. <laughs> wow, that's a true freaking football. Oh, that was a freaking big one right there. I just lost a giant. I don't know if it's on a bed or not. Yeah. Oh. I'm pretty sure that fish was on a bed. Goodness. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, that's a giant. Okay, you guys. That's another freaking five pounder under a dock on this stretch right here. There, It's just, I don't know. You guys doing good? Uh, yeah, I got some pretty good ones. I'm not doing a whole lot of fishing right now. It's doing a lot of looking. What's that? Really? Perch. Oh, are y'all perch fishing? No. Oh. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I've seen a lot of bibs. There's a lot of a lot. I think the smallmouth, unfortunately, are about done. Yeah, I did catch a couple six pound smallmouth further south two days ago, but I only saw maybe 15 or 20 on beds. That was it. Now there's some big largemouth on beds, but they're a little trickier. But really love to catch the smallmouth. I've never been up here, so I wanted to get into the smallmouth. Well, good luck. Hope y'all catch them. Yep. Hope y'all catch them. Good luck. This thing is freaking massive. Guys, this is the fattest one yet. Oh my gosh. Look how freaking big that thing is. This place is unreal. I, I, it's gonna be hard for us to have me not come back and do this. The only thing I'm worried about is cloud cover and wind makes it really hard to skip docks, like really hard. Any type of chop makes those general, those weightless baits just fly up. Look how freaking fat these things are. My goodness. Okay, I don't know you guys. I've now seen several giant fish under these docks right here. There's just not a lot going on. This is in the middle of the lake and I don't think it's gonna get a ton of pressure because it's so far away from everything. Uh, there's no telling though. Definitely starting to put a little something together. There's two boats out here way off bed fishing. Maybe people leave these stretch docks alone because they're so dang shallow. They almost look unsuspecting. And one thing I'm putting together is the docks with these bases right here, those are money. They're a little, they're more shaded and there's something about that, all you know, that metal base, the big thick square like metal post that I've caught giant fish under all of them. So I don't know. I don't know. I like this because I feel like you could really put something together just fishing these docks and covering a ton of water, but I hate that it's not a smallmouth. Let's keep fishing. I don't know guys, it's going to be pretty tough to talk me out of skipping docks this weekend. <laughs> okay guys, just got back to the house. I was going to do a wrap up there on the water, but uh, there are a couple people around and I didn't really want to talk about this stuff on the water. So anyway, had a pretty good day of practice today. Found some really good things. A little bummed out, couldn't get those smallmouth figured out, but I think what we found with those largemouth, you guys, I think that might be something. I'm not totally sure. Uh, the conditions may or may not call for it. There's gonna, if there's any type of wind, it's gonna be really tough to fish those docks the way you need to. But anyway, pretty stoked about it. I'm gonna take you guys with us on tomorrow's day of practice and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna go get my batteries charged, make a little bit of dinner, and yeah, we're gonna keep building upon what we found.
All right, everybody, we've got the next day of practice up here on Cayuga. Had a fantastic day yesterday. Probably had like 97 inches and it was very easy. I wasn't even fishing that hard. Y'all saw my pattern. There's a certain area that seemed to have much bigger fish. And if you made the right cast, you'd get them every time. It was crazy. So the only thing I couldn't figure out though is that's a very specific bite, a dock bite. The conditions this weekend, I'm not sure that they're very ideal for dock fishing. So I'm trying to find a backup plan. I found a, this flat that had giant smallmouth all over it and I could not get them to eat at all. So I got a bunch of hair jigs out today. I got some jerk baits. I'm gonna try a few different things. I gotta go see if I can figure out a backup plan for this area. So after that, I'm gonna spend a couple hours out here. Then we're gonna load up and go up north. As y'all remember, you know, everything I've read, everything I've heard, that way north end is where all the kayak tournaments are won. That's where everyone does really, really well fishing around those bridges. And that's why I've completely avoided that area. I do not like fishing community holes. I'm gonna call it a community hole. I don't like fishing areas where everyone does really, really well. I'd much rather go and find my own thing and uh, see if I can get away from the crowd. So really gonna try to force this south bite really gonna try to force it see if i can make it happen what i saw <laughs> from what i saw yesterday and the day before y'all i uh, don't see any reason to go up north but i am gonna go up and just kind of see what that's all about it's a different different part of the lake we haven't really been to yet so we're gonna try it but first of all gotta go see if i can figure out these big small mouth because if i can get a good limit of fish on the docks and then move out and try to pull if i need to on these big small mouth I think that's gonna be the deal, you guys. So we're gonna get out here, fish this flat. G I got G with me today. He's gonna fish himself across the lake. But first, gonna see if we can figure out these small mouth. I believe where, I don't know where they went. I'm not saying that there aren't small mouth here, but I don't think there were as many as you saw yesterday. No, there's not. I'm pretty bummed about it. And if that's the case, I think we're kind of wasting our time. <sighs> Like I said, sound like smallies. Yeah. Okay, babe, I'll see ya. Okay, so we gonna try to just kind of quickly fish our way back. I mean, um, it's, I'm not gonna go like, I'm gonna go faster than normal, but I'm not gonna go super fast either. Okay. All right, dang, guys, you heard the man. Sounds like smallmouth. There were 20 smallmouth on this flat and they're gone. I saw like one or two. That sucks. Time to look for a different backup plan. There's an even bigger one out here. I just don't know how big it is. It's bigger than that one. But it's also a little spookier. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Dang, it's not a little smally. It's a pretty fat one. Just not very long, it's the only thing. Nice fat one though. So there's, there's definitely smallmouth still on beds around these points. You got one on a bed? Oh, I think so. Yeah. I've seen about six on beds. Yeah. Down there a bit, there's three around this giant rock. And you drag something through, worm, whatever. They just loop out and go right back. 
If they come right back to it, they ought to eat. Yeah, I was kind of surprised because I stayed there for 15, 20 minutes. Just, I mean, one one of them dragged it right over, right in front of it. Nothing. Sometimes you gotta give them about 45 minutes. Yeah, I can't wait that long. <laughs> <laughs> not a not a non-tournament day. Yeah, I hear you. Have a good one, you. Yeah. Make that fish angry. It's a lot bigger than the first one. Yeah, that's a giant, you guys. Probably five and a half pounder. Super, super nice fish. Let's let her go back on the bed. Dang, I knew that one looked way, way bigger than that first. That first one I caught was probably, probably an 18. That was a 20. That means the smallmouth that I saw on that flat were every bit of upper 21, maybe 22, 22 plus inch fish. Giant fish on that flat. I just could not couldn't figure out how to get him to eat but marked that bed don't know if that fish will still be there it's a big large mouth swimming around did mark that bed so we'll see you guys you gotta find a backup plan though babe I got a giant smallmouth on a bed right here giant Got her. Gosh, what a beautiful fish. Cast that we're reading in the middle of the cast. Did not want that fish to eat that. <laughs> On a pro staff call right now, that is a really good fish right there. It wasn't even paying attention, it had it in its mouth. I think that's a pretty big one. Man, I hate to see that. That's a giant dead smallmouth. You wonder like what, how that fish died, if it's riding around in live wells, if it's just being beat up during the spawn. I mean, these tournaments I feel kind of iffy about. I mean, I feel, I like that we let them go as soon as we catch them off the bed. But even then, you know, I've seen studies where there's gobies that move in pretty quick and I just, I don't know sometimes you guys, I don't know. Okay guys, so today went to a different part of the lake, just a little bit further south where I was catching them really good yesterday. Found several really good smallmouth on beds, got every single one of them to eat, tried to shake a few off, did catch a couple, and just marked those fish that were wanting to eat. So got some smallmouth on beds now, have these big large. With the conditions this weekend, with it being rainy, I don't, I really don't know what that's gonna be, but got several different things. The lake is fishing so good for me right now. Like, it seems like everywhere I go, I've got different bites, different patterns, and I'm catching them so good. Smallmouth, largemouth, north, mid lake, south, doesn't matter. Um, I'm excited. I'm just kinda, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna go get some sleep. We got one more day of practice. We're gonna figure out what we're gonna do for the tournament. All right, guys, good morning. It is the final day of practice. Came out here to that stretch with the really good dogs just to kind of look around and see if these fish are still here. This is going to be pretty similar to the tournament. Completely overcast, going to start raining. Uh, G and I were talking on the on the truck ride down here. He's fishing in the opposite direction of me, but he found kind of the same thing a few miles down, and I'm up from the ramp. We were kind of talking. I don't know if these fish are just post-spawn staging on these docks, and they're going to be gone for the tournament, I really don't know. I really don't know. There's just no telling right now, but I'm gonna see if they're still here. I've got, so what I'm doing is I tied a, just a straight general, wacky rig general, just straight line, no hook. I'm gonna cast it around and see if I can just get bit. 
if I can physically see a few fish under the dock still on some of the ones I marked in the big schools or if I can get bit doing it, I'm gonna feel a thousand times better. But I have to know that these fish are here. They're here in the morning. They're here when it's cloudy. Usually dock bites aren't near as good when it's rainy and it's gonna be rainy and when it's really cloudy. But there were so many fish under these docks that I don't know. Later in the day, I'm gonna go check my second best bite, which is uh, I've got a section of grass up north. North, that was really productive. I'm gonna go check that and just kind of look around. There's way more people here today than there was uh, a few days ago. Kind of kind of bums me out a little bit. But again, to, in order to catch these fish, you have to be making very specific, very quiet, very long, very good casts. Uh, a lot of people can't do that. Some people can. Hopefully there's plenty of fish that if there's a couple people that figure this out, it won't matter. So we're going to see if we can get bit doing this uh, with the, just tying that straight weightless no hook bait. I do not want to catch these fish today. Let's see what we can do. That is not good. That is not good at all. There was a whole school of fish on that dock the other day and they are not there today. You know that or they're not biting. That one, I gotta really yeah. sit back and think on it. And that, you know, Stormy, I, 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 oh, there's a, oh, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Oh gosh, Jamie, it's not letting it go at all. <laughs> I have no hook on there and I can't, it's just, I can't let it, it's not letting it go. That's a good, I can see it. I can see that one. Let it go, bud. Let it go. It's not letting it go. Let it, oh my gosh, let it go. There it goes. Okay. There it goes. It ran with it a second. It ran, it ran with it. No longer. Alright, guys. So I got two or three fish to bite it and hold on to it. They all they're all good. All the fish here are big, but I don't feel super good about that. So I'm gonna run up to my grass stuff up north and just kinda, I've never fished it up there when it, there's a bunch of cloud cover. I gotta imagine it's only better. But I'm gonna run up and just kinda check that and uh, then make my decision.